Now, my next guest is the founder of an ecotourism adventure company that has grown into a $2.5 million business in just five years. Treetop Adventure Park is an innovative concept that works closely with governments, local councils and eco-authorities to ensure trees and the environment at its three parks in New South Wales are not damaged. For more, we're joined by Sandrine Gaymard, the founder of Treetop Adventure Park. Sandrine, thanks for joining us. Thank you, Peter. So where did your, the idea come from? Um, I assume my husband and I, we had 20, about 20 years of experience in extreme sports and also in business management. Right. And one uh, time, and you'll notice by my accent that I come from France. Oh, really? <laughs> uh, one time we were visiting relatives in France and we uh, stepped upon those activities. Yeah. And they are fantastic. They're extremely eco-friendly. They allow people to really push their limits. Right. And we thought, oh, like we need to have this in Australia. Yeah. We've got the best trees yeah. and the Australian uh, like kind of adventurous. Yeah. Let's uh, try he to set it up. Women, yes. Or she women. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try to do it in, um, in Australia. What kind of extreme sports were you into? Oh, Not we did a bit. Jumping. Uh, no, we did a lot of canyoning, monteering, yeah. monteering uh, snowboarding and, and a lot of uh, other things. But, okay. um, yes. You, you won't talk about those <laughs> other things. Now, so, when, so five years ago you started Tree Top. Yes, Treetop Park. Adventure Park. Yeah, um, yeah. We opened five years ago, yeah, but, okay. but it's, it's, taken, it's taken about five years to open the first one. Yeah. The first park opened on the Central Coast yes. at Orimba State Forest. Yeah. Um, so that one more time. Orimba State uh, Forest. Orimba, yeah, okay, right. <laughs> yep. um, and the second one opened in Newcastle in Bloogham Hill Regional Park. Yes. And the last one opened um, last September mm. in Western Sydney, in uh, Western Sydney Parkland, um, Plough and Hell Okay, Park. so, so what's, what do you do there that's adventurous? Um, pretty much we get people on a network of activities up in the trees. Yeah. So they have to um, you know, push their limits in climbing ladders, yeah. getting on wobbly bridges, yeah. um, zipping on flying foxes yeah. and, and anything that we can find that are actually slowly uh, but surely going to push them out of their comfort zone. Okay, yeah, most definitely. Uh, do you worry about potential injury? Because even though I'm sure you have a lot of safety things in there, things still can go wrong when you do things physically. Um, no, we, I mean, of course, safety is uh, the uh, for front priority. of our <laughs> of our business and, and without that we could not operate. Um, we have always looked at the safest way of doing the most exhilarating activities. Yes. And we've been able to do it. We've been researching all the safety um, system that exists in the world. But we also have, when we didn't find it, we've actually designed our own. Mm -hmm. And um, it's, it's, we've been able to offer these activities from three years old yeah. and up to 90 years old. Fantastic. How many employees do you have across the three parks? Uh, about 80 now. About 80? Yes. So it's, it's great growth. And, you, yes. and you're a Telstra Small Business Award winner? Yes. Yeah. Well, we, we were um, Small Business Award and um, Social Responsibility. Yeah. Uh, and we won also the Australian Business Award for Enterprise three yeah. years in a row. Yeah. Um, and a few uh, tourism business um, awards as well. Yeah. But we, like, we hope that we're going to, you know, push for more and... Uh, you, you could take it to other states too, couldn't you? Yes, yes. Yeah. We, we have won an expression of interest for a park in Victoria, which yeah. parks Victoria. Um, and we are hoping that it's going to develop slowly. Mm. Um, we, uh, you know, we are always open to new opportunities and yeah. uh, the activities seem to be quite trendy. Mm. Like a lot of people, um, you know, really want to to do this. Yes, it sounds uh, fantastic. It's because I think mainly because it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, it also gets the children of their bum and in, into the bush. Yeah. Um, and uh, with all the problem that we have lately with, you know, the children spending so much time in front of a screen yes. or, you know, getting weight, uh, mm -hmm. overweight mm -hmm. and, and, and things like that. It's, I think it's uh, very important for many parents. Yes. And what are, are business groups using your parks for team building and things like that? Yes, it's yeah, very popular so. for corporate groups. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, we have the normal activities and we also offer the night activities which are a little bit more extreme. Yeah. But for, like for anyone, it is great for bonding with the people that you're doing the courses with because yeah. you are a bit out of your comfort zone. Yeah, so you yeah. are 
trying to help the yeah, others and yeah. also really uh, happy with the assistance they can and offer. And what about as a potential, or is it already happening, are you getting Chinese tourists? Because they, they love the bush, but have you been able to get the Chinese tourists there yet? Um, it's, it's hard. Our, our international um, visitors are yeah. quite low at the moment, but yeah. we're putting in a new uh, venture in uh, the Western Sydney Park, yeah. Yeah. Uh, an, a canopy tour, yeah. uh, featuring the longest uh, flying fox in, uh, in Australia. Yeah. And uh, this You're is going to be that. yes. This is going to be a bit more appealing to the Chinese market because yeah. it's going to be a little bit, a little less hard work. Yeah. It's going to offer views of the Sydney CBD in the distance and yeah. the Blue Mountains, yeah. and it's going to be offering accelerating but easy activities. Fantastic, Sandrine. Thanks for joining us. I'm sure you'll do well, and I look forward to watching your progress. Great Thank stuff. You so Thanks much. for coming on the program. Coming up, Rudy Philippec Van Dyke will shine the spotlight on a couple of companies you should be keeping a close eye on.